Hey, this is Joshua McClintock. I'm an engineer with Likewise, and today I'd like to show you how to leverage Active Directory groups within the sudoers file. So the first thing that you can do is uh, check out your sudoers file. Uh, if you notice here, um, I have a few groups uh, in here that uh, I currently use today, um, which are Active Directory groups that I give specific permissions to. So what we're going to do is uh, check out a particular AD user, see what groups they're in, and um, add a group to this file. So my name is Joshua McClintock. I'm going to give you an example here using my user. So if you see here, my primary group here is domain users. So how about we add domain users to the sudoers file? Let's go to the bottom of the file and add domain users. Okay, this first column right here can actually be used to lock down uh, this uh, definition to a particular host. Uh, so I could actually say CentOS 5 equals and then some command set, uh, but that's out of the scope of this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is just say all so on every single host, and we'll just copy the one right above this. Okay, so now all domain users are going to be able to execute on all hosts that this sudoers file is distributed to the maintenance command set. Now, if we look up above here, you can actually see that this command set is defined right here with this command alias. So maintenance uh, can run any of these particular commands as root. And that's basically all there is to it. Okay, so let's test this configuration. First of all, we have to be that user. We could use su, but this works just as well. Okay, and then you can run sudo space dash l, and that should tell you every single command that you're allowed to run as root. So you might say, hey, you know, you're also a part of that Linux uh, admin group, which also gave you permission to this maintenance command group. Well, you're right. So let's go back and remove myself from that. Okay, something else you'll notice <clears throat> is that you're going to want to put uh, the entries into the sudoers file exactly as you see them from the output of the ID command or the groups command. If it's lowercase, do lowercase. If it's uppercase, do uppercase. But make sure they're in here just as you see them uh, on the command line. So let's go ahead and remove this one, this one, and this one. So all we're left with now this domain is this domain users, uh, all hosts with the maintenance command set. Let's get back to my user. sudo-l. Okay. So you can see that this user is still allowed to run those commands uh, by virtue uh, of me being a member of the domain users group. Okay, something else um, that you may run into. Uh, when you install uh, Likewise Open, uh, assume default domain is not turned on by default. And uh, what that does is allows you to be referenced uh, here and also at your login um, without having to prepin the domain name. So you saw me do an SSH J McClintock at localhost, but, but because I have uh, assumed default domain on, I don't have to prepin that with my domain, which is LW demo. So let me just show you that really fast. Okay, see so mine's already set, so if I want to turn mine off, I could actually do this. Okay, so you can see right here, if I run ID and then my domain name backslash backslash uh, username, uh, my actual username is domain backslash username. Uh, so that's how you'd actually have to reference it in the sudoers file if you're going to put an individual user. 
If you scroll over here to the right, you'll see domain user. See how it's also pre-pinned with the default domain name. If, if for whatever reason you can't use assume default domain in your environment, then you're going to need to put LW demo or whatever your domain is, uh, and then use uh, two backslashes and then domain users. So let's just do an example of that really fast. SSH or you could use SU as well. Okay, so we're still working here, uh, but notice um, that my username is you know in this format now, but I still have access to that maintenance command set. So let's say that you do want to use assume default domain. Let's change that back. if I do a ID on my user. Now you see I don't have to pre-pin the domain name in front of my username. So now with the sudoers file, you're going to want to make that match. So let's take this out. Oops. Okay. Let's get back to my account. Notice I don't have to pre-pin the default domain name anymore. Okay, and voila, we still have access to that maintenance command set. So uh, anyway, I hope this helps you out. Uh, you can always use the Likewise community forums to ask questions. Uh, we're pretty good about answering uh, all your inquiries. So uh, thanks for using Likewise and have a great day.